Okay, so tonight I'm back to trying to use artificial culmination methods to create this little artificial star, which is connected to the telescope and pointed at the telescope tripod way down there with the light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of dead center in the screen by the puppies. And this is what we do when the skies decide to do this to us after we're told we were going to have a beautiful day. But as you can see, <laughs> by that, we have a different opinion about what beautiful day is. And uh, that's not a, not a sky for astronomy. So we're going to do this a different way. Achieve the same result using these tools, but get a lot more tightly dialed in, hopefully. Okay, so I'm in the process of coarse collimation right now, which if you can see, the goal of this is to move this large donut circle so that it's equidistant with the rest of this outer perimeter circle. So as you can see, this needs to move down or south. And I'm going to do that by identifying which knob here on the telescope is closest to where that bend is. So I'm going to continue this process till I get that centered. And then I'll come back and show um, what that looks like. So, as you can see here, this looks world's better to me. Um, I think this is whereabouts I want to be with the coarse collimation. And as you can see now, the donut is sitting within the concentric rings on the other side. So I'm going to swap it out and start the other side, which is the fine collimation now. Stay tuned. And here we have the inner collimation, which I think is looking spectacular. Now I'm going to focus back into it and make it just a bright point star. So here's what that looks like now with my um, Vatanoff mask on. As you can see, these light beams here are all equidistant. These two spikes that go through the middle sit right through the middle of the star and create three very distinct um, shaped spikes that are all around the same distance from each other and that should be damn near perfect focus. <laughs> 